Hi, my name is Lexi Lusler, and I'm the literary manager here at The O'Neill. Hi, I'm Helena Pennington, and I'm the literary associate. And we're here today to answer some of your commonly asked questions and make your application to The O'Neill as easy and accessible as possible so you can share that fresh new work with us. I know a statement of objectives can feel daunting. We hear that a lot, we completely understand, but honestly, it's one of our favorite moments because it's a chance for you to introduce yourself as a writer and a rewriter to us and our readers. What we love in a great statement of objectives are some specific goals about your work with the piece, such as, I want to revisit this character's arc, or I want to look at the relationship between the mother and the sister. It's a great way to just let us in and see what you're thinking on this play. When we say that a play can have had a professional production, what does that mean for us at The O'Neill? This means that the piece you're submitting must be unproduced through August 2020. If your piece has had a workshop or a script in hand reading, it is absolutely eligible. If it has had a university or college production, it's also eligible. If it was produced but there were essential elements that you didn't see or didn't have access to, like lights, costumes, a full set, it's also eligible. If you check out our finalist list, which is located on our O'Neill National Playwrights Conference website page, and also the new Play Exchange, you'll see a myriad of different styles, tones, genre, lengths. Again, if the idea is exciting to us and our readers and your development process, we're excited to have it here at the O'Neill. We'll be accepting applications from September 12th until October 11th of this year. At that point, all scripts will move on to our first round readers, where your script will be read by one to two of our readers. We'll then start to identify our semi-finalists, which is roughly 20% of the applicant pool that we receive. Those semi-finalist scripts will be read by members of our artistic council. And in March, we will start to identify, with the help of Wendy C. Goldberg, our 50 to 60 finalists. And then finally, Wendy will identify the seven to eight writers that she'd like to invite to join us for the 2020 National Playwrights Conference. All applicants can expect to receive a hard copy status update from our office in mid-March. And in that reading process, we get to meet writers from not only across the country, but across all walks of their writing career path. Because we're an open submission process, you don't need an agent, professional representation, or even graduate level training to apply with your play. We're excited to meet you and get to know those new voices so we can bring you to the O'Neill and develop these ideas for the years to come in the theater. We are happy to take scripts of all shapes and sizes. We only ask that you include character breakdown at the front, page numbers throughout, a statement of objectives at the end, and you make sure that all contact information, your name, your number, your agents, if you have them, has been removed from the script. If you don't come to us at the O'Neill with your first, second, or even third draft of your piece, please don't be deterred. August Wilson actually applied six times to the O'Neill before he was brought for the National Playwrights Conference, and we all know how that career turned out. The application window for this year's process closes on October 11th. We're here by phone or by email to answer any of those questions you have, and we can't wait to see your work.